Welcome to Bahati Life YouTube channel featuring Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. This is your source for authentic tarot and astrology, magic, Hello, and Hello, my loves. Welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator and head witch of Bahati Life Apothecary, and I'm a professional astrologer, tarot, and intuitive reader. I meant to say professional, not professional. <laughs> As you guys can see, we have a pick a card reading here. We have pile number one, two, and three. Basically, the energy of what I'm going to be tapping into is who is protecting you right now? What is the vibe? Are they um, an ascended master? Are they an ancestor, a spiritual guide, whatever? And what is the message that they want to uh, deliver to you at this moment in time? So timestamps are going to be down below. I do not know the cards that we have pulled here. I'm just going to be vibing, using my intuition, channeling messages per usual. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the comments or in the timestamp so you could see, you know, which one are you naturally gravitating towards, okay? So just pause the video if you need it and I will meet you at your pile. All right, my loves, if you chose pile number one, typically I shuffle and um, just kind of allow the cards to kind of fall out, but I didn't do that today. These are your cards. We have the 10 of cups. We have the Four of Cups, and we have the Page of Swords. And this pile over here is gonna be the message. Sorry, it's a little uh, confusing. Hopefully, you're just gonna be going with the flow with this reading this afternoon, as, I, as am I. Okay, so this already feels like family. Um, this Buku feels like a family member, someone who has passed on. I wanna say immediate family, however, um, it, it doesn't feel like an old ancestor. It feels like someone that you've had a relationship with or that you knew in this life and you've already built a relationship with. You kind of know somewhat of their personality, if not a lot of who they are as a person. Whoever this is, they there's this really strong message right now coming through of they if they're older, they have a very young spirit. If they're younger their lightheartedness is really truly coming through if this is an older grandparent of some sort or a, a not a father figure but a parental figure like a guardian in some way shape or form this is someone who towards the end of their life or how they're approaching me right now is someone who's sitting back and observing and watching you in your life um they they I want to say that it's not that they're not hands-on in your life. It just feels like they co-sign where you're at right now. I, I'm hearing specifically they're co-signing your experience. So regardless of how you feel, if your life is taking twists and turns, good or bad, whatever, this, this I almost want to say grandparent, but this it's like a, a parental figure of some sort is coming forward and saying, or if they're not your actual parent, there's someone who come is is approaching you as like a, a parental guardian in some way, shape or form, like some type of form of guardian. Like they look at you almost as their child. So I don't know if they didn't have children or they, I don't know, there's a similarity of like, they, they feel a very close, a, a really strong sense of closeness with you. If this is a friend, they, it's like they're, if this is a friend that has passed on, because again, guys, I'm getting this really strong message that this is someone that you knew of in this life. Um, if this is an actual friend that you've had a friendship with, they genuinely like enjoy like watching you live your life. Um, it brings them a lot of joy and they, they love it. They, they're actually okay with this person, whoever this is, if you don't know anybody who has passed on, then this is definitely not gonna be your pile because I'm really getting a strong sense of kinship here. But um, this person, they're, I'm not saying that they're happy that they've passed, but they're in a, there's this really strong confirmation of 
being like where they're at right now is where they want to be. So there's no sense of, I don't know why you may need to hear this, but there's no sense of like ill-timed, like an ill-timed death. If this is something, if someone passed early on and they're like a teenager or a younger person or someone who had their life ahead of them, this is someone who, in if they were still walking the earth, then they would want to say that it's not their time. But now that their time has clearly come and gone, um, they're really okay with it. There's a strong sense of peace and they feel very present still to this day. Some There's also this message here about like going to heaven or this idea of going to heaven. This person almost wants to clarify that heaven is not a concept, but it's not something that the spiritual realm has to kind of like run into or rush into. And that's something that we kind of seek. I don't know why they're saying this, but that's something that we here on earth sometimes seek in order to have some sense of reassurance that that person is at peace. And this person just wants to tell you specifically that they're totally at peace with their situation. They're actually like very in a happy, a happy place. And I don't know why, but as I'm saying that they're going like this. So they're flipping it and they want you to have the same happy experience. They want you to have the same joy. And also they're going to infuse, there's something about, they're saying embedding. So in everything that they do or everything that you do while you're here on earth, I'm seeing them tuck, like it's like a note or a card or something. It's like they put it under your pillow, then they put it under the milk in the fridge or they put it in the cabinet under the Pringles. Like you'll just, you'll, they wanna like, embed and, and tuck into your life little aspects of them that you find you know as you carry on in life and it's just their way of sitting back and showing their approval of you and your life choices um they really i don't know why but there's this really strong sense of like they are enjoying your it's almost like they enjoy your company um so if this is someone who is watching over you they there's this sense of youth about them like vitality still and they want, one thing that they're making sure of and they want you to understand is that they they really want you to have like a joyful life here. They want you to, and they're, something that they're working on is making sure that you have more joyful moments and happiness. I'm seeing little, little packages, like little tiny things, little, they're like little blips. I don't know why they're referring to it like that, like a little, if you like book a hotel room and they put up chocolate on your pillow, it's like you'll, they want to extend little tiny tidbits of joy and pleasure into your everyday experience. And that's not what they're responsible for, but that's their way of showing up for you because they really want your life to be something that there's little surprise treasures all throughout. I don't know why that's something that they want to specifically. Also, if you're someone who is not alone, but, um, they want, there's, I wouldn't say alone. They, it's someone who, it's like, I don't know, there's like pets here or little tiny birds or something. Like they'll have something come to you or fly to your door or, if, you know, a, a pet that kind of like, if it's sitting with you, all of a sudden the pet will lift its head up and look out the window and, and wag its tail or something. It's things like that that just kind of bring joy. That's, that's who this person is. It's someone that if they were not someone, if they were someone who was a little bit more stressed out or high energy, um, there's a strong sense of like high energy when they were living or someone who's like constantly tinkering and moving about and doing stuff or active. Um, actually, that's it. That's what they want to say that they, they chances are that they're going to be someone who was like a tinkerer. They're very active when they were living. Um, oh, so that's how they kind of show up. They kind of bring and fuse that same kind of energy where they just bring they sprinkle joy. I don't know. They sprinkle joy wherever they go. This is a pleasure to start the readings like this. It feels very, very good. This person is very, if this is a grandparent, you guys, they are very, it's like Easter eggs. I don't <laughs> like they, they're, they, they, if you think of your life as an Easter egg hunt, or maybe not, like, let's say you think of your life as like regular, but they, they're the grandparent that comes through and like, is the, the, the parent that will, or the guardian that will tuck away little treasures that you find. Like, it's like putting your hand in your pocket and finding a $20 bill. It's like, how I know I didn't put that there. It's that grandparent that it's very lighthearted. It's very cute, very small things, but things that put a smile on your face. Very, I, something about that feels very significant. Also, they're, they're going like this again. So there's something about how you might 
be inspired by this reading to start doing that for other people. Um, almost like making the world a better place, like this message about making the world a better place. Like if you can help someone, you know, just do it. You know, I don't know why. I'm also seeing like if someone needs help carrying their groceries from the grocery store and you're just like, I feel kind of inspired to help that person. These are things that make this person who looks out for you, this guardian, very, very proud um, and uplifted. And it's, they, it just, I don't know, something about it like magnifies and intensifies for you and your experience here on earth. That's how they show up for you. And that's also how they want you to show up for them and a part of the legacy that you wanna live. Also, there's this message here about like, don't stress about things. Um, some of you guys may be very hard on yourselves. Um, also, make sure that you're eating. Make sure that you're breathing from your belly. There's this emphasis on the belly. Um, I don't know why this is very specific. And I'm sorry if this is weird for anybody. But make sure, like, with your bladder, you're not hold. I don't know why, but they want to say, like, that you're not holding on to, you know, things like that. Like, when you have to go, go. I don't know why they want to tell you that. But they, it's, like, small things that they want you to do to kind of, like, take better care of yourself. Um... I just heard them say, like, you'll thank me later. <laughs> I don't know what that's about, but that's between you and, and them. Let's look at your oracle card. Yeah, to be fair is the card that we have here. And then we have blessed. And then we have breathe. So this is really funny. Um, kind of, sort of. So with the breathe card, I just really generally get a sense of, like, it's like breathing from the belly, like breathing into the belly, make sure that you're inhaling fully, exhaling, like making, I don't know why, but I'm getting this strong sense of making room and space for like your basic, essential human being needs. Um, also, this blessed, I, I'm getting the word lanyap. Um, for those of you guys I don't know, I'm probably not even saying it correctly. I haven't been to New Orleans in forever, but in NOLA, it's this um, word that they use to describe like a little something extra. I keep hearing that. And this person is gonna come through with a lot of lanyaps, like so things that you don't, it's like if you ordered from a restaurant and you got like beans, rice and beans, cornbread, um, I don't know, catfish, and a side of slaw, like coleslaw and a drink, they, this spiritual guide is going to come through and give you a little extra, something, it's gonna, they're gonna inspire a little extra to be given to you. Um, in their mind, even with the to be fair card, this is about like what we give to others, what they feel like they deserve for good or for bad. I feel like this is them constantly putting a little extra into your bag of, of life, like little an extra goodie, like a little treat. I don't know how to describe it. I think of it something similar to an Easter egg. So there's gonna, this person is gonna be very responsible for the Easter eggs that they wanna give to you. That's just their overall energy here. Wow, interesting. So the this this the saint and mystic that you got is Saint Martin Caballero, um, the spirit, and it talks about spiritual pilgrimage. So this is really interesting because when you go on a spiritual pilgrimage, it's like a place that it is that you go or the journey, the journey through your life. I truly feel like this person that is coming through is someone who may have gone on a spiritual journey themselves. They may be also encouraging you to do like a backtrack, back, back packing type of trip or to venture out into the unknown. They're really gonna bless this trip and this journey for you. Any type of trips or vacations, retreats or anything like that, that have a spiritual, connection to them you're in, you're encouraged to take those things they really do want to see you do that or that's something that they have done themselves um some of you guys might be doing uh research on um ayahuasca did i say that correctly um my brain's a little fried today but uh, and, uh or, or some of you guys might take not an acid trip but things like that things like it could be a drug or a substance that kind of takes you out of your normal understanding of life and takes you into the spiritual realms if this is something that you have been called or were interested in in taking or doing that or you've already done this is the guide that will bless you along that journey to make sure that you are safe if this is something that you're being called to uh, to do 
just being honest. Um, the other thing that is that I'm getting and hearing is that throughout your life and your path here on earth, for the things that it is that you're looking for, this person is going to show up and wherever it is that you're called or led to go along your journey, there's going to be a little extra gift there that you will find um, as you're taking steps along this pilgrimage in your life, this spiritual journey, okay? Now, let's go ahead and look at the exact message that they want to tell you. Wow, wow. Interesting. So I don't really know this tarot card, these tarot cards. I um, This is um, the Muse Tarot. I typically don't use it, but I felt really called to use it today. So we have for you the Hermit card, which is very interesting because this is actually the card of internal pilgrimage, like the journey that we take within ourselves to better understand ourselves. So this person, this guide is really wanting to encourage you to to venture out in a lot of ways. They really want to talk to you about the internal venture or an actual journey, a pilgrimage into better understanding yourself. Um, they also want to protect and bless you on your spiritual journey. They want to bless your, your knowledge or what you're understanding, what you're learning and how you're growing. They really want to emphasize that. They want to encourage, I don't want to say, um, they want to encourage your persistence in the pursuit of spiritual knowledge or your spiritual, the ability to grow here as a spiritual person. I'm hearing certain truths and revelations that you're going to be teaching other people. Um, I'm also hearing, I'm, I don't know why I'm hearing like the word recipe. So there might be something specific that like a formula that is that you might be working on that works. I don't know. That's a very specific message for someone. That's, that's something that they're referring to. Also spirit, this spiritual guide wants you to be very careful. Again, the food that is that you're eating. Um, so I'm also getting like a feeling of like a burn in the stomach. So make sure that you're not, that your food is very balanced um, and that you're not overdoing things. Some of you guys might find like, a maybe it's like a coffee or a tea that you might find, but just do it in moderation because it might upset the stomach or it might make the he your head cloudy or foggy. Um, yeah, so then we have the Muse of Materials. Again, this is someone who's going on a pilgrimage here. They're going out, they're venturing out into the unknown. They're going on this path. So this is a buku, something that they are really trying to encourage you to do or that they're saying that we are guiding your steps along the spiritual pilgrimage or self-discovery or maybe you're doing a, a change in your career path or whatever the case is. Now we have two of swords here, two of voices, I'm assuming, and the two of, of Materials which I'm gonna call is the two of pentacles. So this is a lot, again, this is about balance. And you guys also had the card to be fair here. So there's a lot about, um, I, you know what I just heard? I heard balancing the material and balancing the spiritual. So if you're someone who's going on a spiritual journey, make sure that you are also grounding yourself and centering yourself while here on earth. Remember that you're a human being having a spiritual experience. And it can't just be all of one thing or else you'll start to get cloudy, you'll start to get foggy or you'll start to get depressed and your energy will start to get dense. This is a guy that really wants to talk to you about making sure that there's balance within this pilgrimage, within this self-discovery. Um, and also I'm, I'm seeing a very specific message about you might have different um, ancestry so your, your path along your spiritual journey is not going to be one straight path. You, because you may, your ancestry might be very mixed, you're going to have to need to learn how to incorporate very different spiritual practices or become more open to the idea that one spiritual practice is not going to serve all of your spiritual needs. Or at least it's not going to serve all of your your guides. You know, let's say if this is an an an, um, an ancestor, which there's a a very strong chance that this is an ancestor. From what I'm from what I'm gathering, this is you want to make sure that the ancestors that you are aware of that you are honoring their practices as well when you go to them and ask them for help. It's not going to be just like one type of ancestry. This is a very mixed lineage here that it is that I'm seeing. Um, for those of you guys that don't know what it is that I'm saying, this, this person wants to come through and begin to teach you all the different aspects of yourself and where you've come from so that you better can understand your lineage because it almost feels like only one part of 
your spiritual practice is being honored and this person wants to kind of give you little gifts of knowledge that's going to expand your horizon and that's the message that they want to give you. They really want you to be very open to discovery on this spiritual journey, the spiritual pilgrimage that you're currently taking. Okay, so I hope this reading resonates, you guys. I, I really, really love this reading. I truly love this reading. Um, it's not the pile that I chose for myself, but I love this for you. And if this was my message, I would definitely be here for it. I would be vibing with this hardcore. Um, if you guys need me, of course, you can find me at Bahati Life Apothecary. That's where all the uh, my fixed candles are, herbs, oils. I've got more candles that are going to be uh, introduced to the shop. Um, especially during the full moon and new moons. So you can find me there working my magic. Until then, you guys, I want to invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from and I will see you in my next one. Now moving on to pile number two. Hello, my loves. If you chose pile number two, this is your reading. So I have the Oracle cards pulled. I don't know the tarot um, cards at all. I'll be seeing them for the first time. And uh, we're going to see who has been protecting you. And then we're also going to look into their message, which is these cards right here. Okay. So first things first, we have, okay. Wow. We have the emperor. We have the eight of swords. I don't know why I really vibe with this, this person right now. We have the three of wands and we have the devil card. So let me just sit with this for a minute because I'm still feeling the lingering energy from pile number one, the person who came through for them. Who are you? What is, what is your... They're saying I'm the guardian of the fortress. This is a very, very, very strong guide um, this is very, 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 very different energy from the first group. The first group was very light. This group is very, very dense. Um, it's not to say that one is better than the other. Um, I'm trying to understand why they're so dense though. Like, is it because you're on a serious you have something serious to do in this life. Um, you may, this could also come from a space of very distinct trauma. Um, this guide, I don't know, for whatever reason, this is like very much giving an ascended master. This is someone who, I don't wanna say that you're a spiritual teacher, but you're someone who's meant to, from your trauma or from your past experiences, good and bad, they're emphasizing good and bad. They're here to, you're here to serve as not a beacon of light, but this guide wants you to reach out to them far more often than you already have to call in for spiritual protection, not only from the outside world, but also from your internal world. This is an ascended master who I'm hearing is someone who's known through the ages. So this is a very strong, strong personality. I'm also getting, I'm hearing like a master of the wind. So this might be an, um, an ascended master who's connected to the wind or air, air element, thoughts. This person can kick up, I'm, I'm hearing kicking up like a dust storm. Um, you might be really interested in the weather. I don't know why, but the weather with this guide, they, you could use them, not use them, but work with them in order to work magic with weather, weather patterns that are connected to the atmosphere. I don't know why that's something that's coming through. I'm very much getting Archangel Michael vibes. This is like an Archangel, actually. This is a very, very strong presence. 
and they this this guide is very very strong they're very very protective of you and they they speak god's will is what i'm hearing i everyone's going to be different but there's some people everything that this person does or this energy does it's an archangel actually everything that this archangel does is very deliberate in their movement and deliberate in what they say, what they do, what they don't say, everything is very, very intentional. They're here to really protect you, keep you very, very safe from any type of harm. Um, I'm also hearing they kind of enforce God's will and they said that in the word disobedience, so again, there's this message about like, not only are they protecting you from the external world, but they're protecting you from yourself. There might be certain temptations that they're gonna make sure that you don't fall into. They do not want you to be disobedient because you're disobeying like God's will or God's intention or something that you know you shouldn't be doing. I'm hearing that they're protecting you from things that are, are they're gonna guide you to the things that are rightfully yours, but you also, there's this emphasis on they're not things that are just given to you. Like they're things that you have to work towards. You have to work hard for. And they require you to not be disobedient. I don't know why that's something that's coming through. They're, they're kind of showing something similar to a university where in order for you to pass, you have to go through these trials and tribulations, these lessons, and then you have to pass the test. This test is something that comes directly from the mouth and the will of God. I don't know why that's something that's coming through. It's very, very strong. You're, they're going to test not your logic, but they're going to test your wisdom. Or they're going to bring in certain lessons to strengthen your wisdom while you're here on earth. And you are to ask only them for guidance. You're to ask them for protection. There's no one, they're saying like, there's no one that can protect you like the way that an archangel can. Are you calling on Archangel Michael specifically or whoever it is enough? I don't know why, but I'm hearing like judging, like you, I'm hearing like, don't judge a book by its cover. So for some of you guys, you might be, I don't know why I'm hearing this, but you might be offended by the idea of Archangel Michael. And then you want for you, Archangel Michael might show up in a different belief system but they're very similar, so apply it. They wanna to talk to you about very like, apply it where it fits in for you. It may not necessarily be Archangel Michael, but it's an Archangel or something very similar to the energy of Archangel Michael that falls, that shows up in the same way in your culture. As I say that, they, they said like, that is who I am. And then, then they put their foot down and they just put a stamp on it. So they, they literally said who they are and that's who they are, period. There's nothing more to gain from that. It's a very strong archangel um, like uh, type of energy here. So let's go ahead and see what this card is. Wow, Isaac Newton discovery. Look at this guy. I know for a fact Isaac Newton did not look like that. <laughs> Imagine if Isaac Newton came back and was like, so you're gonna depict me with this, my shirt unbuttoned, okay. I don't know why that's what's standing through to me, but I don't know why. It just feels like, like, why do, I don't know why there's a strong sense of like, why do we have to make things more aesthetically attractive instead of what it actually is? This guide is not here for that. They do not like the sugar fluff of things. They just say that this is not, that's a, that's not what, the, that's not who they are. Like, I don't know why they're like, it's like trying to paint a prettier picture of life or things or experience and they're just rejecting that. Even as I'm looking at that, there's a prism here. It's like the light comes in and it blasts out as a rainbow. And then you have the microscope here and you have the planets. This archangel wants you to see things for what they actually are and like from a position of facts. What are the facts? Interesting that we have the devil card here and the apple here. I think the apple represented gravity, the way things fall. Um, but the apple also represented temptation in quote unquote, the garden of Eden. I don't know why they're bringing that up, but they want to look, this person, this archangel wants to talk about facts only with you. They're very, they do not want to, they want you to, in the pursuit of discovery, whatever it is, they want you to find the facts. They do not want you 
this is someone who's going or some an energy an archangel that's going to bring you the truth and not a lie i don't know why that's coming through but they do not tolerate bullshit and anything that's not factual there i even as i'm saying this there has zero tolerance i can feel how strong they're coming through and the agitation by even entertaining something out outside of the truth in this in the in the, for especially for the sake of like making yourself feel comfortable and they just really want you to i don't know why but there's their either this is your energy something very similar to you or they want you to wisen up so that that's not you're not like i don't know like you're not like them i don't know who they are but they're not you're not like the rest of the world that's just like, oh, I believe anything that I'm told and I just go along with it. I'm also hearing medication or medicine. Um, they're very protective of your physical body and your mental well-being. They don't... I'm carefully saying this. They don't want you to just ingest anything when it comes to medication. They want to actually fix the problem and not mask it. I don't know why that's something that's coming through, but I'm not comfortable going any further with that, with medical anything on my YouTube channel. Um, I have medical readings every once in a while. I offer them on my um, on my website at bahadilike.com, but right now today, I'm not gonna do that. Whoa, guys, look. So we have the question, why, why? Like this person really, or this archangel is like, they want you to, the questions that is that you're asking, especially when it comes to discovery, they do not want you to just accept status quo type of things. They 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 won't. They simply will not allow it. I'm also smelling lavender. Um, I don't have any lavender here present, burning or essential oils or anything like that right in my natural in my vicinity. There's something about calming of the mind. So there could be this. Um, like anxiety or maybe sleeplessness, insomnia. This person or this archangel is going to help you when it comes to your sleep, protecting you while you're sleeping and making sure that you are following like a good sleep routine or sleep pattern or ritual. They want to enforce that, by the way. Interesting too, because you have the, the card of peace here. Also, you have a soulmate card, which is so interesting. There's this strong message about authenticity in every single aspect of your life. Um, this archangel, as stern as they are, they're going to help you to find or to be found by or to they're going to enforce loyalty, commitment, a strong foundation in every aspect of your life, especially your relationships. Um, something about making sure that people are loyal to you is something that they oversee. That no one betrays you or dishonors. There's, it's not betrayal, it's dishonors you. And don't dishonor them. Interesting, okay, so what's the message for them? Wow, guys, the lovers, Ace of Voices, which is the Ace of Swords, I'm gonna call it, and the Star Card Reverse. Interesting, because the Star Card Reverse, for me, is truly about our, per, our, our, our perspective. It's like, even though you don't necessarily, I, this is an ascended master. This is like an archangel, by the way, confirmed. But you, I would not normally see the star card as perspective, but it's about your hope and your faith and about being spiritually protected. And, and sometimes when we think about hope and faith, we don't think about sternness with those things. We don't think about, sometimes when we think about like hope, we think of things like, oh, believing in like unicorns or believing in miracles or believing in the impossible. This archangel is saying that real serious spiritual miracles and hope and faith and healing, the real serious stuff comes directly from God and is overseen by the archangel. Anything else kind of comes as like a fairy tale. I don't know why this person really, this archangel really wants to express that truth and make you aware of it. Um, I'm also hearing John the Baptist. I, isn't he a healer? So this could be overseeing medical. 
your medical history or your medical well-being, like your history with your physical health or mental or emotional health. Um, they're also looking, I heard the word pressure. You might have a lot of pressure that you need to release from your body and you'll find that you do that by yawning randomly. I don't know, it's like you wanna express um, a release when you're when you don't even realize that you're carrying on stress you'll just randomly yawn it's this archangel helping to release pressure like pent up pressure on the body and help pent up stress on the body also this person is overseeing loyalty and your companionship and also marriage they're bringing peace into relationships um i'm also hearing foreboding i don't know why i'm i, I heard that um which is so interesting that loyalty is actually coming through or things that would dishonor you because the devil card is here that would kind of try to finesse those things into your life. And this person is just, this archangel is like, I'm cutting that out. Ace of Swords is here, will literally clear that shit out immediately. Some of you guys sometimes feel like you're alone or that you're kind of doing things all on your own. Or you might be the strongest person in your family or the strongest person in your community or you have to try really hard to be strong. This is the archangel that says, come to me, seek me, and I will give to you the solution. They're really looking out for you. They want a really strong connection with you. They don't. They want you to call on them more often because their power to protect you and their power of clarity to give you direction and guidance in your life will come through clear as day, sharp like a razor. Some of you guys might actually be afraid of receiving such clear advice from this ancestor, I'm sorry, from this um, archangel, because once you hear it, it's undeniable and you can't say, well, I didn't know. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Also, I wanna speak a blessing over, if you chose this pile, when it comes to finding your soulmate, your partner, marriage, commitment, union um i want to speak a blessing over you i i would i really encourage um marriage candles um i also have a road opener candle here so this is something that can help you to make your way to marriage or help your marriage cut out obstacles to the on the path towards a healthy lasting loving relationship um where there's no temptation um, the road opener candle is available for that. Okay. Um, I've been working on them all, all week long. So, yeah. So I just, I really want to speak a blessing over your marriage and over like family and the, the creation of families, um, partnerships. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to necessarily end in marriage, but who you trust, like the person that you can lean on in this life that you can really, truly trust. Also, they're talking, last thing, they're talking about sex, sexuality. Um, this ancestor, I'm sorry, I keep wanting to say ancestor, but it's, it's uh, Archangel, doesn't care about your sexuality or your preferences or anything like that. I don't know why that's coming through, but they see, they see right through all of that. To them, it's, that's just like a dressing, you know? It's like something that is a preference it's like I can't help it I, I I like what I like like I none of that matters to this ancestor or I don't know maybe it is an ancestor because of the way that I keep saying it but none of that matters they say I see right through you to the core of you and none of that external to this person it's external for you it might be your identity but this this energy is telling you I see through into you so none of that to me matters so I don't know why, but that's the message that they wanted to share with you. All right, guys. Um, wow, really strong message here. Uh, totally different from the original, the first pile. Um, if you need me, of course, uh, you can find me at bahadilife.com, working my magic as I, as I always do. Um, I'll leave the links down below. I want to encourage you to subscribe to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. Watch your yawning. All right, there's that's definitely the guide coming through. Um, all right, guys, I'll see you uh, in my next video, and I'm moving on to pile number three. Bye. All right, my loves, if you chose pile number three, this is your reading. This is who is watching over you, who are they, and what do they wish to share with you? Oh, I don't know. Oh, wow, St. Jude, interesting. Um, I don't know the cards that have been pulled. I'm just kind of 
pulling them, um, like flipping them as we go along. Um, these are the Oracle. This is the message. I, I don't, I'm sorry guys. I'm really trying to get through this, but I am getting a strong sense of Oh, wow. So it's interesting. This person is someone who I'm seeing this big, heavy oak door and it's like the door slams and everything gets dark. Even as I say that I'm, I'm wearing like a dark hoodie, I just wanted to put my hood up. Um, and as I looked up in the sky, there's a bunch of crows just kind of going over. So this, I'm getting this really strong sense of this is, uh, If this is an ancestor or someone, you may not necessarily know them, but they know of you. So maybe they passed before you were born or before you really got a chance to develop. And there's this really strong sense of like, not sadness, but like a sense of things being unfortunate I'm hearing like, don't look at me in this, in that light. So this might be someone who has a very controversial, even as I'm talking to you right now, I almost want to whisper. So it almost feels like something taboo or forbidden. Like I shouldn't be talking to you like that, that type of thing. But so this person might be someone that's taboo or someone that I don't know they're really quiet like they're they're really quiet and they just kind of I don't want to say they sit um, uh, you would almost think that this this guide is vacant or absent but they're I don't know you might not be aware of this guide, actually. You really might not be aware of this guide or you might not have actually met them in this life um, or, or had got or got to spend a lot of time with them. If this is an ancestor, like from your bloodline, this is someone that you're not fully aware of. This person may have a interesting I'm gonna say interesting like a um, controversial there might be controversy I don't know why I'm getting this I'm also hearing like they are digging something like they're they, they're digging something up and hiding something in the dirt I don't know why they like um, they're talking about like movies or like a not a documentary, but things where you watch them long term, like it's like an hour, 30 minutes. I don't know why that's coming through. Sorry, this is so random. I'm just like channeling right now. There's this message of like, like it's taboo to talk to you or like not uncertainty in approaching you, but like how will you receive it if they approach you? I don't know why. I'm hearing like, will they recognize me? Will they understand? So there's a strong sense of like miscommunication or misunderstanding when it comes to this person. This might be an angel. If this is not an ancestor that has passed on that you didn't get a chance to have a full relationship with, but they have a quote unquote reputation of some sort, then this is an angel. that doesn't really have a distinct name or face that you're aware of, like you can't really put a name to it. Let me pull these cards over because now I need to know. No place like home, interesting. I just heard you may not know me. You may not know me, but I'm the one responsible for making you like comfortable. Like I'm the one who looks out for you but you don't know me, you don't know my name. 
interesting that a motorcycle, I, there's no one that I know in my neighborhood that has a motorcycle, so this person might actually have a motorcycle. I also, this person, if this is someone that you quote unquote know, this is someone who might be a little bit of, not a drifter, but someone who has like an alternative lifestyle. If this is someone from your family or lineage, I don't know guys, this is what's coming through. They kind of like, not a drifter, but there's someone who might be a hippie or if there's someone who was like in the military, there's someone who is actually a free spirit at heart or they were put in the military to restrain them or shape them or something, but they, I don't know why I'm getting a sense of like, it kind of like backfired. I'm also getting a strong sense of um, someone holding their breath. So there's this, they, whoever this pile is, it's interesting. There, There's this really strong sense of uncomfortable, like, Also, there's, if this is someone who was once living, they might have passed by something from the lungs or getting shot or something, something puncturing the lungs or breathing or heart. It's interesting because you may not entirely know the name and the face of this person in a more intimate way, but you have a deep sense, like a deep knowing that their presence is there protecting you. And the first thing I felt when I pulled this card, No Place Like Home is, you may not know me, but I'm the one responsible for looking after like, your all like a lot, an actual a lot. Um, they're, they're the ones who are really, I don't like I'm, I, I'm getting like a strong sense of like being out of breath. Um, they like are running, like running away from something and like you're running for a long time. Um, it's possible you might be a jogger or, run, or a runner and there's someone who runs along with you along the path. I'm also, I don't know. I don't know guys. I don't know. I'm also getting like, this person is very physical. I don't know why it's like tough mudder or like the mud run. I don't know what those things are called, but It's a place you go, like a physical activity that feels like meditation. This person is very, that's what you guys have in common. Okay, I'm gonna, this is really interesting. We have two of cups here. We have six of wands reverse and the five of pentacles. There's something about this person's reputation, like a fall from grace or something that might be a little controversial or something taboo or something that Someone says like it's not worth talking about, but it's coming from a very humble place because if you actually knew this person, you would have a, lot, a deep sense of respect for them. They might be misunderstood. Or if this is an angel, guys, if this is not an ancestor with an interesting history, this will be an angel that is nameless and faceless to you but they oversee all the things, like all the things. I heard like no minute detail is missed by this person. They're very active in your life, believe it or not, but as active as they are, you may not truly know them. You may not, This you may actually be someone who prays to God, but you don't necessarily pray to an angel to help you. And the angel is the messenger who comes from God, who's kind of arranging certain things while you're here on earth. And they're okay with that. They're actually okay with that. You do have a strong sense that you are being protected here. But you're just not entirely sure where this protection, you know that it's there, but you may not have a name or a face, a, 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 a name to call. Or it's something to bring them to the altar. Like, I'm trying to talk to you, blah, 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 blah. This person, some of you guys might have built generic, I'm, I'm hearing the word generic altars, and this angel or this ancestor or this guide just appreciates the effort. There's not any one specific thing that, is that they're looking for. They just appreciate the effort. And something about going for walks 
I'm hearing like just going for a walk alone. I don't know why I heard that. Going for a walk alone with you will, would suffice. I'm also hearing California. They used to walk or they would get, phys like, get physical and walk. They're very physical active, physically active and they follow you where you go. So if you're walking, it's almost like they're walking. This person says like, I'm literally always by my side and they, they have this strong sense like you didn't know me, but if we did get to know each other, like I heard like I would fuck with you. Like they, like this, they, they, they would really like you and they have a very funny way of saying things. Like they have a foul mouth like I do. They may even be someone who drinks, like they, they don't mind, they can take, like they can take like a, a heavy drink or they can take drinking. Like they, they're, they're very like, if this is an ancestor, this is someone who's meat and potatoes, they may not have necessarily lived a healthy life, um, but they don't care. Like I'm hearing, like they don't give a fuck. Like they do their thing. They, I love the spunkiness <laughs> of this person. I genuinely do. They might have even had an interest in like weapons or fighting. They might've been in like some type of fight, like, like um, either they are a fighter or like they've gotten into physical altercations with people. Um, they may also like enjoy fighting. They might do bets, you know what I mean? This is someone who could actually be like a reputation, meaning like you may not know their face or you may not know them personally, but they might have been in like the mafia, you know what I mean? Like just, I really, I really like. <laughs> they got secrets, yo, they do. I really like this energy. They have things that are kind of like hidden. There might be money that, um, that you're not aware of, that they have like pockets hidden. <laughs> you can talk to them. That's the other thing too. Like if you have like, I don't know why that I saw like them throwing a coin purse onto the altar, onto a table or something. And there's like, it's like almost like a, it's funny cause it's treasure Island, funny, but it's almost like trying to find a treasure map, like using a treasure map to find the treasure. It's funny. They will literally make sure that you're financially good. They want, they like you to have a good life. They want you to have comfort. Okay, so what's your message? Now I need to know, what are you gonna tell them? Yeah, the devil card reverse. Six of swords. The chariot card reversed and the justice card reversed. So I'm not gonna say that how this person passed, they might've even been a construction worker by the way, but, um. I'm not gonna say, they're very physical active, like very, very like, had a, a job that was like physically strenuous. Either they're in the military and as a fighter, do landscaping or something like that. Anyways, um, it's definitely giving like uncle vibes by the way, but anyways, uh, or like big brother. I really, I really like this pile, if you can't tell. This, I, I heard this person acts as your security guard. Like they, you, they really come through as like a security, security guard type of energy. This person might have gone in a violent way. I'm sorry to say that, but they don't want to be known for that. They, they feel like you would respect them if you knew them and not that you don't, but it's like you guys would have a lot in common. They want to talk about the commonality between you and them. This person, I'm not saying that they're a drifter, but you have a, you might be a person who doesn't fit in with society to some extent. Like you may be like someone who's just like a business owner, you know, like you might, you don't want to work for the man. You feel called to maybe take odd jobs or something like that. This person relates to that spunk within you. They, they, it's something about you guys venturing off and doing your thing is something that they love. Or if this is something that you're thinking about, they want to encourage your steps and to not consider working for, I don't know why they're saying, but like the man, like working for corporate America, they really want you to not follow. They want you to be a leader. That's the message they want to tell you there. They want, they really want you to be a leader and to not to follow, they, they want you to follow like the, the beats of your own path. Like I'm hearing they want you to venture off. They want you to break free from certain like cycles. They want you to do your own thing. Like 
I just asked in my head, like, do you mean like they're doing something wrong right now? Or like they they want you to like, are they not taking care of themselves? Like what's the deal? It's more that they don't want you to, like, it's like tradition. Like did they want, they're almost wanting you to defy tradition. Or like they're saying like, it's not in you, it's not in me to follow what other people are doing. So they're, they're I don't know why they're specifically saying that. If you've been having issues or trouble with kind of like f following like the mundane or whatever, following the rules or something like that, trying to keep up with certain stuff, not maybe keeping up with the Joneses, but like maybe keeping up with life or maybe obligations or certain things, this person is saying like, I will help you with that, but keep going. Like really, truly keep going. If you are someone who's working for a, like a nine to five job, I don't know why this is coming through, but if you have like a nine to five job, they're wanting you to, I heard like trespass, like they're wanting you to kind of go what is forbidden from you to do. I don't know why. I'm also seeing the book like Women Who Run With The Wolves. This person, identifies with wolf spirit and freedom and family and loyalty and wildness there's something about getting really buku in touch with that also um if you have had a troubled history or past this this person is overseeing the forgiveness of those who have violated you or if you've done anything to hurt anybody else this there's going to be peace with that there's going to be a sense of like it's okay like a sense of it's okay and like a not a fresh start but if you have a secret I don't know why this is coming through but if you have a secret they know it and they're saying they're confirming the energy of it's okay Like they have a similarity too, where they, they, they may have a secret too. If you may be struggling with certain things, um, like sense of obligation or duty, this person is somehow supporting you through a rebellious nature that says like, literally fuck it. <laughs> I don't know why that's coming through. This person also says that they're gonna give you a backbone to help you in the fight. Like if you need to fight for yourself, fight for, you know, things that you need to do, they're going to help fight, fight with you. They'll fight by your side, they're looking out for you. If you feel like life is stacked against you, they even the playing field for you. They will also save you again and again and again but also try to make good decisions <laughs> whatever that means for you all right wow okay so that's the message guys they, they literally were just like literally it's like they're holding a shot glass and they lifted it up so cheers um all right guys thank you so much for being here with me and thank you to all of the guides who came through i really appreciate every single one of you uh, if you guys need me, you can find me working my magic in the apothecary. Uh, I have the road opener candle here burning. I've been working with this all week. It is a new addition to the shop, and I've got a few other traditional um, magical candles that are going to be getting being shared as time goes on through this week and next week. So if you need that, it is there for you. Thank you so much for stopping by and visiting my YouTube channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!